Hey, what's going on? It's Joe from Train Out of Pain. This week, we are gonna be concentrating on five things that you should remove from your life if you have fibromyalgia. Normally, when we go see a new doctor, a new practitioner, they wanna add something to our life, whether it be a supplement or a drug or whatever it may be. And sometimes removing things from our life can actually help us improve. Now, with fibromyalgia, we all have some different symptoms, but for the most part, there's a common thread in that there's some gastrointestinal disturbance, there is a major sleep disturbance, and brain fog is another pretty common symptom, not experienced by everybody, but mostly. And there is a big contributing factor environmentally that we're really not looking at, and that is Wi-Fi. Now, I've done pretty extensive research about this stuff. There is quite a bit of research out there. And as always, I encourage you to do your own research about this subject as well. Don't always take my word for things. Reading that research is going to allow you to gain some more knowledge and look at things a little bit differently. And it's kind of the way that I've done it for the last year and a half. Now, um, there is a great paper out there by a researcher. His name is Martin Paul, P-A-L-L. -L. He's out of Washington State University here in the United States. Um, crazy brilliant guy, brilliant guy. And he has this wonderful paper out there called... Wi-Fi is an important threat to human health. And I really encourage you to read that paper. It's very eye-opening, especially when he goes and pokes holes in seven different research studies that are provided by the telecommunications companies. Pretty fascinating stuff. But one of the biggest things that Wi-Fi has an impact, impact upon our, our uh, biology is our cognitive abilities. Yeah, brain fog, hello. Um, Again, I will actually post a photo in the comments about this. Um, I reached out, I've been given some advice here and there on some fibromyalgia forums, and I've been encouraging people to impact their sleep by turning off their Wi-Fi router at night, which I encourage you to do as well. If you don't need your Wi-Fi on, turn it off, okay? You actually don't need Wi-Fi. Um, I don't use Wi-Fi in my home. I never will again. I have everything wired through an ethernet cable and I just will not use Wi-Fi. Now, I live in an apartment, which is not a very optimal area for healing. But um, a few years ago, I realized without knowing any of this research that microwave is, or uh, Wi-Fi is operating on the same wavelengths as microwave. And how did I have that realization? So I have a streaming device named a Roku and I was using my Wi-Fi connection to connect to my Roku. And anytime someone was using the microwave and the Roku was trying to stream something, there'd always be a massive interruption. It would free, the screen would freeze up and just wouldn't be able to play anything until the microwave shut off. Now, that's also an important thing for you to understand. There's the brain fog and there's the sleep issue, but there's also the issue that Wi-Fi has some pretty harmful effects to our physiology. So in telling you that story, I want you to think about you coming home from dinner and let's say you got a leftover chicken breast or something. And the next day you wanna heat up that chicken breast. If you throw it in the microwave and you don't throw a damp cloth over it, what happens to that piece of chicken? It becomes tough and leathery, it dehydrates. That's exactly what Wi-Fi is doing to you down to the cellular level namely down to your mitochondrial level, which is bad news if you have fibromyalgia because you already have severe mitochondrial dysfunction. Your battery in your cells is not operating properly, and when you are swimming in a sea of Wi-Fi, it is going to be much worse. Your sleep is going to be impacted, your brain fog is going to be significantly impacted, and you're not going to feel that down at the cellular level until there's a cumulative effect over time. Now, I can also tell you my work is swimming in Wi-Fi. Um, it's a problem because when I go to work, I feel like I'm drunk. I've told my clients this and you know they don't feel it as much as I do, but when you have fibromyalgia, you're actually, many, many of us are more susceptible to that type of radiation. We feel it a lot more, it affects us a little bit more because we already have some dysfunction going on. We already have some inflammation going on and that's exactly what it is causing is more inflammation. So again, look into this research yourself. Martin Paul, P-A-L-L -L, is the researcher. He's got a few papers out there. I encourage you to read those for yourself so that you can understand this at a different level. 
but if you are experiencing some brain fog, if you're having some sleep issues, turn that Wi-Fi off when you're not using it. It's okay, no, nothing's gonna happen, nothing bad, I promise. But you might sleep a little bit better and you might find yourself thinking a little bit more clearly as well. Tomorrow we'll be presenting number two in this series and we will continue on with that throughout the week. If you have any questions, any comments, please leave them down below. If you're not comfortable leaving any comments, you can always send me a message. That is perfectly fine too. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you.